What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, bro. Back with another video. Today, I got three things I would change about my graphic design career. So stay tuned to check it out. Peace. All right, guys. So I was talking to one of my mentors this week, and we were just talking about business goals and things that I want to accomplish and things that he wants to accomplish. And we started talking about his career and how things have planned, panned out for him and what he would change and things like that. And it made me think about things that I would change on my journey and I'm gonna talk about it today and hopefully me telling you a little bit about my story will help you make better decisions on your journey thing number one I would change I would skip college I learn differently I move at my own pace and some things I pick up fast and some things it takes a little bit more time but in college there is none of that kind of got to learn when everybody else is learning and for me that didn't work out I hated college I hated school yeah I saw my video my cons about going to college it just wasn't for me and my personality type I also didn't like constantly having authority I'm my own person I'm very disciplined and very type a personality so whenever I've had authority that I didn't know or authority that I didn't trust I would rebel in my own way I mean like I would just literally just want to leave and I don't want to be by myself and for me that doesn't work for school <laughs> like you got to be able to work in groups you got to be able to fall in line at school and all that stuff and I just couldn't do it it just wasn't for me so personally I would skip college ultimately college did introduce me to Photoshop and introduce me to the world of graphic design but I would have stopped after that junior college and I would have just went into graphic design full-time and trying to figure out how I could turn that into a full-time job sooner than I did so the second thing I would change is I would have dropped out of college and went and got an internship as a graphic designer I feel like this would have made my transition easier. I would have avoided a lot of things that I went through in my earlier days, like as far as working for free in the basement all those years. Um, I would have gotten paid a lot sooner. I would, have not, I would have learned my worth a lot sooner. I would have had more confidence, more stability, more things that, that you need along the journey to turn into a full-time graphic designer and to own your own graphic design business now. I understand that the journey is the journey and you go through everything you're supposed to to become the person you're supposed to be, but if I could change it, if I had the power to change it, I definitely would have got an internship a lot sooner. I would have had different mentors. They would have taught me things, I'm sure. I would have attracted the right people and ultimately probably would have been more successful a lot sooner just because of my personality type or maybe I would have quit because of my personality type <laughs> and hating authority, hating people over me. But my first graphic design job was in 2013 and I was getting paid $8 an hour. Y'all know this, I was designing t-shirts and to this day, he's still selling my t-shirts that I designed 11 years later. So he made his little money back by paying me $8 an hour to design these dope tees that he's been selling for 11 years. But I would have avoided jobs like that. That was initially my first internship and he did teach me a lot. He's still a mentor to this day, but I feel like I could have moved that up a lot sooner. Instead of 2013, I could have been there around 2010, you know, 2011. In the midst of all that, I did find multiple blessings and multiple things that did help me escape. My clothing brand helped me escape. Mentors helped me find my way as far as being an entrepreneur and just creating my own business and my own brands. But I felt like all of this could have been moved up and I could have had more of these things accomplished a lot sooner if it was in my power, but obviously it wasn't right the third thing i would change is i would embrace my individuality sooner what i mean by that is i never really fit in with any types of groups of people i was always a lone wolf i was always by myself i enjoy it by myself i'm, I'm very introverted and i like my peace and i like my quiet and i like to be by myself that's where my best ideas come from and that's when i make the most progress for myself however it never really fit in and I, at, at times you do feel alone when you're a lone wolf you know i didn't fit in with the emo crowd the super eclectic crowd the thugs over here the gangs over here even the basketball players i really didn't fit in with them i was always by myself you know and when you're an artist that doesn't use their clothes or their hats or their big earrings or their body to display their creative side, people don't really know. And all of my creativity comes from my brain and just my ideas that I come up with by myself. So I, I, was, I didn't dress like them. I didn't really fit their lingo. I didn't listen to what they listen to, watch what they watch. I didn't fit in with no artist. It took me a long time to embrace that. It took me a long time to figure out that it's okay to be a lone wolf. It's okay to be a, your own creative. You don't need to be in these groups. While they were getting the hype back then and in school and all this, 
I wasn't. I was flying under the radar for a long time. Wasn't getting no love. Outside my mom and my dad, I wasn't getting no support from nobody. I would have embraced that a lot sooner. I would have I wouldn't have felt bad about being a lone wolf. I wouldn't have felt bad about being a leader cuz at that point I would have tried to build a community around my leadership instead of feeling like I got to do this by myself. I would have just tried to find like-minded people that liked what I was into and we would, we could create something together. Cuz back then I would just look at these groups like, "Damn, I wish I had a group like that or I wish I had this, I wish I had that." But really, everything I needed I already had it because it was within me. But I look back on it with the greatest of joys because those times taught me a lot about myself and it taught me to be my own man. And those times being by myself taught me that I can move across the country to San Diego. I can move to Tennessee by myself. I can move to all these places by myself and I can be my own man. I can hold my own and I can feel like everything, like I'm going to be fine because I've built more with less before. So these are some things that I would change. These are some things that have built the foundation of my career. Let me know if you, if you learned something from me. And uh, I appreciate y'all for making it this far. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Y'all have a great week. I'll see y'all next week. Peace.